Just, just watch this. So the craziest thing happened to me today. I ran out to get an iced coffee. It's live captions, and because it's system wide, it could work everywhere. Damien from freshman year, he had that little bowl cut. Even someone talking next to you on the street. And if there are multiple people talking, they'll all be properly attributed. So you'll always know just who exactly is talking and you can customize the text size. Even type out a message for text to voice if you're on the Mac. All private, on device, secure, and in real time. It's coming later this year, which is basically Apple code for an advanced sneak preview. So it doesn't get lost in all the usual dub dub hubbub come June when we'll get the full on previews of iPhone and iPad OS 16, Mac OS 13, and watch OS 9. And yeah, Google totally did this first. But like I said in my Great Artist Steel video, I really want to see who ends up doing it best. And remember that assistive touch demo from last year? The one that let you pinch and twist and flex your way around the Apple Watch interface? Well, Apple's making that even better this year as well, with new quick actions for answering and ending calls, starting and stopping workouts, and even AirPlay mirroring your watch display to your iPhone so you can use features like voice control, switch control, and head tracking. I mean, at this point, it just feels like having superpowers, not but kind of like like the Magnify app, which, yeah, could always magnify stuff, but last year got the ability to use the camera, the LiDAR system, and machine learning for people detection, literally telling you how far or how close you were in lines and in crowds. And now, now it's doing door detection as well. It'll tell you if a door is open or closed, how it opens and closes, when any hours posted say it will be open and closed, and what's written on the sign. And if you're at home and you have a special doorbell, you'll be able to train your devices to recognize it, to recognize any unique sounds in your home or in your environment and alert you when and if they go off. It's all part of the next big wave of accessibility features and Apple's previewing them early in honor of Global Accessibility Awareness Day, which is today. And don't sleep on them. Not because they'll all be sliding into your TikToks and Reels and Shorts this fall anyway as secret hidden feature tips and tricks bait, or because you somehow think they're only built by and for people with low or no hearing, vision, motor skills, limb differences, which true and critically important, but they're also just incredibly convenient and customizable and will be there, are there for any of us, all of us, for you, anytime an accident or incident or operation or treatment or just time makes them the most needful of things because accessibility really truly is for everyone. Now do me a solid and go watch this video on how Apple and Google just need to keep on stealing. I'll see you there.